Hey guys, this is James from Devil's Paintbrush with the final update on the Wobble 2 commission I'm working on. In the background, you can see the two Yag Panthers which have already been in the video. In the foreground, you've got the Plastic Soldier Company uh, 251s and Panzer 4s. Now, as I said before, I wasn't that impressed with the Yag Panthers. Limited amount of detail. But they're painted up okay. But the plastic soldier stuff i love plastic soldier company i'm such a fanboy of those i could i could wax lyrical so long about these guys but you can see there's tracks look at the crew inside if i can get it to focus they've got k98s mp40s on the side you've got your tarps and your backpacks Panzer Shreks. Oh, yeah, there's a better look at the MP40. This one's got a pack 36. And they've got the crew in there. The MG42 gunner. And over on the Panzer IVs. Try and get a good close up of the crew. Sorry about that, tried to turn the light on. Oh well, didn't work. Maybe get a better look here. You've got the shirts on the side there. Lovely models, lovely models. There you go. Quick shot Boris, the devil's paintbrush. Mascot. come back in a second I'll have the British section ready for you see you in a second guys hi guys and welcome back now we've got the rest of the commission we've got two armor fast Cromwells and three plastic soldier company M5 British half tracks go over to the uh, armor fast Cromwells they are again not that well detailed Although the road wheels are quite nice, but um, I've made airfix ones with far more detail on than this. Uh, only thing I will say is that if you look at the back there, the decals, if I can get it to focus, they are by Plastic Soldier Company and they are some of the nicest decals I've actually put on a vehicle. company markings and the stars are battlefront decals but the divisional and regiment markings are all plastic soldier company which again I cannot recommend enough so we got here's the plastic soldier company M5 half tracks now if I can get a good look at the side lovely amount of detail going on there Focus, focus. Can't really see, but there's the sergeant with a Thompson, a couple of guys with the Enfields. Go over here, look at the side of this one. You've got your haversacks, and the tarps, and the tools. There's the uh, 50 cal gunner. Again, let's see if I can get a better shot. There you go. There's the NCO with the Thompson, a couple of guys holding the Enfields. Oh, if you look at the back, you've got an example of the folded and extended storage racks. And then there's the Plastic Soldier Company decals at the back. Okay, obscured by the weathering I've done on it, but still, lovely decals. And here's the last one. No crew in this one, which is... Uh, Pleasant surprise. And again, I cannot recommend Plastic Soldier Company enough. Both their 20 and 15 millimeter stuff is perfect for or well, their own game, uh, Battle Group, or 15 mil for Flames of War. It's a cheap way to get a company going very quickly. Or the 20 mil for again Battle Group or Rapid Fire review into that, and even Bolt Action. 
So there you go. That is the uh, commission complete. Uh, the next one I'm working on will be some towel for a good friend of mine. And then it's back to my own projects. Probably a bit of Kings of War or maybe my own bolt action. It depends what takes my fancy. And with Christmas coming up, I don't know how much time I'm going to get spent painting, but hopefully it won't interrupt too much with the proceedings. Anyway, as usual guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video as usual. If you like what you see, pop, um, pop a little like, make a little comment, and if you want uh, some work done, again, drop it in the comments or look me up on Facebook. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.